You're listening to the Moose and the Loose, your 10 minutes action packed financial podcast with your host, Mikey Hu. Hey, what's up, Market Moose? This is Mike from the Moose on the Loose. I hope that you are doing well on this Friday. Um, Friday means business Friday, so we're talking about my business or some perspective. And today I have an interesting story where um, it started six years ago. So this this week I actually received all the renewal subscription for the beta testers for DSR Pro when we launch it in February of 2018. So it's been six years and it's kind of crazy because back then we opened the door to like 30 beta testers. We ended up having like 30 or 35 because I couldn't say no to anybody. And uh, today we have 2,363 DSR Pro members. So that's kind of crazy, right? So what's DSR Pro and and why I want to talk about it today? Well, DSR Pro is the upgraded version of our membership at Dividend Stocks Rock. Uh, The Pro members can have their portfolio built on the platform and receive quarterly reports showing them um, what is doing well, what is not doing well, and it's a now a complete set of tools to help people managing their portfolio. So they see their sector allocation, their ratings, their dividend income diversification, dividend forecast, the income calendar. They can build as many portfolio as they want. They have access to a stock comparison tool that is quite efficient and actually very fun to use. Uh, They have a dividend income calendar. They have projections on their annual dividend income and so on. Uh, But first, in 2018, that didn't start that big, right? So we put a lot of money throughout the years. But at the very beginning, I just sent an email, like one-time email to all my members back then. And I said, okay, so I want to build a pro version of DSR. And in that pro version, we're going to sends you a quarterly summary of your portfolio. So the goal was to monitor company's earning and kind of do like a big uh, press release review. So looking at each company's reviews, uh, earnings reviews, doing uh, the highlights, so telling them what happened, uh, the earnings, the revenue diversi- the, the, uh, the revenue movement, the dividend increase or cut as well, um, explaining what the CEO said and offering our uh our view of of the uh, of the earnings, so that started like this, and I got like an overwhelming response. I just I was just looking for beta testers, and at that time I didn't even have a product. And this is something something that I've heard several times um, in on podcasts. I've watched that on videos, in training as well, in courses. When you have an idea, and and this time it was like for an upgrade, but even if you just have a business idea, but you're not too sure how to start it, and you you want to get feedback, start with offering it to people around you. So just say, hey, I have this idea and I would like to build something around this idea. And would you be willing to pay for my product or for my service? And you ask the money up front and you're being fully transparent that this is a better phase and this is exactly the playbook that we used back then. So we just had that that vague idea of, oh, we're going to monitor a lot of stocks. We're going to make summaries of what happened during the quarter. And we're going to provide that to our members. Because when I think about that, and today's has, been, has become like seamlessly and amazing. But as an investor, you have multiple accounts. Now you have a place where you can combine all of them, see a clear picture of what's going on. And instead of tracking the date of each company's reporting their earnings and determining if it's a good earnings or uh, if a good quarter or a bad one, well, you have somebody telling you, hey, this one is not looking that great. You might want to deep dive into this. Here's the link for the press release or okay, it's business as usual, nothing to see here, you can continue your way. So if you have like 30, 40, 50 stocks, maybe you're going to go crazy trying to monitor all of those. And in many, many cases, let's be honest, if you have 50 stocks in your portfolio, you skip a few of them and you don't even look at their earnings, which is a big mistake because from one quarter to another, you miss up on the story, you miss up on what's going on, you may... uh, 
do not even realize that some numbers are not doing that well anymore. And then big catastrophe could happen and you would not see them happening in advance. With a portfolio pro like this, you have this advantage of reading and knowing exactly what's happening, but it will take you maybe like one or two hours to read your report instead of spending like a few days to track down all those companies. So at first, it sounds like a big idea, but not too big. I mean, I thought, well, I have, I'm going to have like between 20 to 30 beta members. Worst could happen would be to track down what, like 20, uh, 200 stocks, maybe not even. So we do that with Google Spreadsheets. So people like key in all the stocks that you they want us to track. And then I realized that just building those spreadsheets is something. And after that, I kind of realized the big problem is with like about 30 beta testers, we got almost 500 companies. And that was just crazy because we didn't have the manpower to do that. So I was reviewing companies with... Vero, like, like there's no tomorrow, like two, three hours every single day for the entire month. Um, our eyes were burning because at first nothing was automated. So we had this huge database that we built. And then for each member, we were doing copy paste. So, okay, so you have Kushtar in your portfolio. Let's see what's Kushtar's results. Are we copy this? And then we paste it in a report. So everything was done almost by end. Kind of crazy, right? So we had the first iteration where before we open the the we did another round for DSR Pro. So the first iteration was to use Excel to generate doors report into PDF. So then we opened the door to more members. So it grows a little bit more. And then we realized that we had into more problems because then we had not 500 stocks to track, but like 800 or something like that. That was just crazy. The more we add people, the more new stocks arise on our list, both on Canadian and US side. And on top of that, when the Excel was doing the reports, whenever there was a, a, a an error, so a company that stopped um, reporting their earnings and just got delisted for whatever, like being acquired for, for something for a reason, well then, the entire Excel formulas would break and stop and it would create like a lot of catastrophes like this. So we had to spend hours and hours to make sure that the, 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 the Excel spreadsheet was working, that the report that could be done. And at the end of each quarter, we will all, we were always at very close to burning out. And then came my saviors, uh, the web development team that I've been dealing with for the past four years now. So in 2020, we made a major upgrade where everything got automated. No more Excel spreadsheets, no more uh, Google Sheet either. So everything was now powered by a software built in DSR, Dividend Stocks Rock. And that was the... Um, third iteration so then everything ran smoothly and it's kind of funny because at that point my partner said yeah we should run another quarter with the excel spreadsheet in the same time that we have this uh new product new software running on our platform just in case that the web development team didn't do a good job and i and i told him like dude there's no way I'm going to do another quarter like this. I'm actually, my eyes are bleeding at the end of each quarter. I'm losing my mind. I'm working way too many hours. So we're going to trust those guys and hope for the best. And if it crashes, well, it's going to crash and we're going to deal with the consequences. So that was a bit um, erratic decision on my part, but I was just done working like there's no tomorrow ever at the end of each quarter. It went actually amazingly well. And then that was the beginning of an amazing relationship where each year we make improvement and we use the same web development team since then. Those guys are amazing. And today we do have a full platform that is all online, all automated, and it provides ton of information and it helps definitely investors to help with conviction and, and make it a lot easier to clean up their portfolio and to take action. So they cut down the noise and they can actually see where they need to put more attention in their portfolio. Uh, so the lesson today is whenever you have an idea, just 
Tell them to tell that idea to a lot of people. Tell them that you need some financing to start working on the product or the service. Be transparent with them. And at the end, just get their feedback. And because I'm always getting so much good feedback and also a lot of like potential updates, I every year I'm able to improve the platform and use that feedback from our members. So it all started with a phone call and an idea. And today it's like two third of my business. We have the SR Pro members and it's just a very amazing tool that I, I love to use it for myself as well to, to manage my portfolio. So all right, Moose, that's enough for today. Enjoy your weekend. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. And we're going to talk again on Monday. Stay tuned and stay invested. Hey, welcome to Disclaimer. If you're listening to The Moose and the Loose, you cannot really expect me to give you buy or sell recommendation or financial advice, right? You're here for fun, you're here for information and some entertainment. But I am not your financial advisor, I am not your broker, so therefore I'm not liable if you're losing money after listening to the podcast. If you're looking for some advice, go see a professional. If not, you can enjoy the show and do your due diligence after it.